Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So, Windows 11 23H2 has received its optional bug fix C release update. And this latest update rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 29th of January. And the update is KB5050092. And if you do decide to install the update, because it is optional, the OS build will be bumped up to 22631.4830. So just a quick overview as to kind of what's new and a couple of new features that have rolled out. And, and the update is more or less the same as what I posted on when it was still in preview a couple of days ago. And obviously has now made its way into the stable channel. And when it was in preview, it included nine new features. And now that it's rolled out is stable, we only get eight new features, which is quite common. Not everything does make its way into the stable after preview. Now, a lot of these new features are very similar to what I posted on yesterday with 24H2. And there's quite a big overlap with 23H2 and 24H2 when it comes to new features. And first of all, the update improves the previews that show when your cursor hovers over apps on the taskbar. And apparently the update also improves their animations. Now, I'm not seeing that yet, even on 24H2. And just take note that these features are on a gradual rollout. So you may see them and you, or you may not. Just keep that in mind. And then the update adds an icon that will appear in the system tray when you use an app that supports Windows Studio FX. Now Studio FX is only rolling out for devices that have neural processing units um, installed, MPU. So that would be Copilot plus PCs as an example. And you can select the icon to open the Studio FX page in the quick settings, as you may well know. Now the next one is work across devices, which is a new feature. And you now can use an iOS or Android phone to access your Microsoft OneDrive files, according to Microsoft. And if you do that, when your PC is locked, you can now continue working on that file from where you left off on your PC. And what you would do is you would just sign into your PC within five minutes of using your phone. And now if you have received this feature, I haven't, but if you have, you will see in your start menu, all apps, a continue from phone entry. It'll be listed here. And something else you'll see is you can manage all of this from your settings system resume. So this resume will be on the system settings page. And there we go. Start something on one device and continue on this PC. And you can toggle that on or off. So that's just um, a quick overview as to what that feature is all about. And they've added a new simplified Chinese font. It's the Simpson dash EXTG. That's listed as a new feature. And then another feature that I haven't received is the new folder command that appears in the context menu when you right click items in the left pane of the file explorer. Because before this feature started rolling out, you had to go to show more options, then get the new folder option. Now they're popping that directly in the actual modern context menu, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. And then just to mention a couple of fixes that Microsoft has rolled out for the File Explorer, because I'm always in favor of fixes that do roll, roll out for File Explorer in Windows 11, because I still think there's quite a bit of work to do on the actual um, component. The first two are for searching. So after you do a search, the search might repeat when you don't want it to. They fix that. And the search box might lose input focus as you type. That's also been fixed. And then the next two are the date and time properties of a file might update after you copy it. That's a small little um, significant improvement and bug fix. And then the details, icons on the details pane might not update as you expect when you change a theme. This makes it hard to view the change when you switch between dark and light themes according to Microsoft. And the next new feature is for Windows Share. I'm just going to mention this. You can now share directly to apps that support sharing in Windows. So what you would do is you would just right click local files in File Explorer or on the desktop. And if certain apps support sharing, you're able to share directly to those apps as well. And I think if you are using the share feature, that is a nice move as well. 
And then for the magnifier app, it gets two new improvements. I'm going to mention the first. The update adds a new keyboard shortcut, Control and Alt and minus sign. You can use it to quickly switch between the current zoom and one bar zoom. And then the next improvement for magnifier is the update adds buttons to reset zoom. So you can reset zoom to fit to the screen and reset zoom to your last or preferred magnification, which I think is also a step in the right direction. And then snipping tool has received a fix where snipping tool screenshots might be distorted. And apparently this occurred when you use two or more monitors that have different display scaling. And there's a fix for the Chinese pinion input method editor as well which is listed as one of the highlights. Now that's all on a gradual rollout. And then just to focus on some fixes um, that are rolling out normally, because this is a, a non-security update, which includes other quality improvements. Now the next three fixes are very important because the first addresses a known issue, the digital analog converter DAC um, known issue. And I've posted a video on that and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen where you might experience issues with USB audio devices with Microsoft saying this is more likely when you use a DAC audio driver based on USB 1. And then what happens is the audio devices might stop working, which stops playback. And that's a very important fix. And that addresses a known issue. So if you have experienced that issue, then make sure you get the update. And then another important fix is for USB audio device drivers where a code 10 error message appears saying this device cannot start. And this occurs when you connect to certain external audio management devices. That's also been um, plaguing a lot of Windows 11 users. And another one is there's a fix for USB cameras where your device does not recognize the camera when it's turned on. And this issue occurs after you install the January 2025 security update. So those are three important fixes. One of those fixes addressing a known issue. And just to mention two more, there's a fix for virtual memory. And um, apparently an issue depletes virtual memory, which might cause some apps to fail. So that's also an important fix. And another important fix is there's a fix for USB print and RPP over USB. And that's the latest optional bug fix release update that's rolled out now for Windows 11 23H2 KB5050092. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.